Mouse tracking is a scroll effect that you find within Brizzy. And to quickly show you what it does, observe what this button section or this little column section that I have here does when I move the mouse. As I go to the right, it follows the mouse to the right and up to the left and the bottom. The idea here is actually to help the cursor focus on a specific element. So if you want to draw the viewer's attention to this button, as they come onto the page and they move the cursor around, they're going to see something is moving. And the more they move the cursor, they're going to realize where it is in a way to get them to go to that call to action and click on the link. Let's see how you can do that within Brizzy. This is for Brizzy WordPress and Brizzy Cloud. We jump into the builder and let me bring in a new element. And I've got the sidebar open there. I'll just bring in a button. But as you saw, you can even do it with a column. You can do it with images, the works. With my button over here, go to the button settings in the top right hand corner and select settings. My sidebar is already open, so it will open automatically. Go to effects and select scroll. Here is the mouse track effect. Select it to activate and then you have the options here. But let's have a look with the default settings. What happens on the page? I bring the cursor in and you can see that that button moves dramatically. Remember, the idea is not to make the button move away. It is kind of to lead the cursor to go to the button. And the moment the cursor gets to the button, that's where the interaction will happen by clicking on it. This is a straight out of the box, very easy to use effect. You have two options here, one to set the direction. Currently, it's set to direct. And what that means is you are directing the cursor to go to the button. You are guiding it to go. You can choose opposite. It feels almost as if it moves in the opposite direction. But in a way, I like this one better. As I move the cursor towards the button, the button moves towards the cursor. The speed, let's put it on a slow speed. And you can see it's actually the range at which that element is going to move with this effect enabled. At a lower range, at a lower speed, it's going to do very little. If I move it up aggressively, you can see it's going to move as wide as the page up and down within that block, that section. This is the mouse track effect. It's a scroll effect and you can apply it on anything that allows for scroll effects. Like I said, you can even go to the columns, activate your settings. We're already here. Click on mouse track and now you can see everything is moving. I know some of you think, let's start playing, but remember, Make it functional. It has to have a purpose. Otherwise, it's just page junk and actually distracting. But a nuanced application here and there is going to guide your user to a specific call to action. For more news and tips on Brizzy, remember to subscribe to YouTube and visit us at brizzy.io.